Yo, everyone, I hope you're okay with second place. We're gonna, my team's gonna sweep all of you. So you guys are on my victim list, every one of you, especially you. Especially you. We are the champions, my friend. You guys all got clapped. We are a case richer. We are a case richer, but more important than the case. More important than the case, we got the glory, baby. Good job. Thank you. All right, guys, so they offered me a store ownership or a case. I decided to take the case. And, uh... <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I have your job, too? <laughs> this is all this is ours now i think it's safe to say that uh friends in Yu-Gi-Oh is uh, the most fun thing to do on the planet uh that's until you play friends and dragons friends and dragons the newest free to play strategy rpg different unique satisfying you take all these heroes and you beat this little baby dragon shout out joey Unique gameplay, but let me tell you guys something. Sign up now using the download link and QR code on screen with the welcome bonus of a free summon, four days of energy potions, and daily free summon to keep you playing. So if you guys like a challenging gameplay, challenge through the campaign, collect and upgrade your heroes, and destroy the enemies. Join Trip Gaming and these beautiful heroes as we destroy some dragons. Download now, baby. Friends and Dragon. Let's go. Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today, we just did exactly what we came here to do. We won a case tournament in a three-on-three -three with Splite. All three of us, my two teammates, we're playing the fucking goo, baby. The, the Spice, not no classic Sprite deck. We're all playing Brave Sprite and with special sauce. If you guys are ready for this video, if you guys want to play Splite, this format, stay tuned for the whole video, and you can check not just my list, but both my boys, actually that's Cap. For both my boys list, you gotta check out Patreon. So sign up on Patreon for both of my boys list. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the spice we had, something that no one plays, and out to Dark Ruler, everything. This deck's insane, let's go. Before anything, wait, wait, wait. Where can they get this beautiful play map? Oh, you can get this play map at www.tripgaming.com. So stop this video, Go check out the playmat, and then after you purchase it, come back and watch this deck profile. Let's go. So, first things first. Three blue, three jet, three starter. You, I'm pretty sure every single form of top decks need to play something like this. It's just too powerful. And then the next best engine in Yu-Gi-Oh, way better than Terralimate, is D7. So, a combination of the nine best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, with the next seven car best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, going second is a Breeze, and then you have Prosperity to search whichever one you're missing. According to my last list, for those who caught on, this is the exact same that you just need to play, okay? Doesn't matter what list I'm playing this format, it's gonna include all of these. I might even throw tier elements in here for fun, but you need to play these. I don't care what deck you're playing, even Pendulums. Throw these in, the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. All right, after that, three Swap Frog, one run in. Nothing new. And just one of each of these, right? Obvious classics, one of each of these. So far, nothing crazy. Now here comes the sauce. What makes this deck so powerful is the ability to go when you're going second to have Smashers and Draco back. So now it doesn't matter which random nonsense deck you're playing, Mystic Mind nonsense, Elridge nonsense, Trash nonsense, Flunder nonsense, shout out Cameraman who loves Flunder, whooped his ass in the finals. Uh, but here, hey, shout out my mans who uh, actually record, is right now recording for us that was second place, not salty, we're all happy winners, all six of us. So it's very nice. Smashers is trash, but it's still very nice to be able to have this. And there's another reason why you play Smashers. So I'm gonna hold it to the side for now. Here's the sauce, baby. Well, one, so many games, Gale, Dagra. Now, a lot of the times, you're going to Gigantic Splite, Swap Frog. Don't do that, okay? Your Gigantic Splite summons out Gale, Dagra. Gale, Dagra, the only way you're losing is by simply Dark Ruler No More, Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, Super Poly, Triple Tactic Talents, Droplets, the list goes on and on. Not many people are playing hand traps anymore. In fact, I cut every hand trap from my deck. Zero hand traps. They're ass. They're for bums. Don't play them. Play, except for you. You're the, you're the, you're the only opposite. <laughs> Real quick, sorry to cut you off. I saw you pull this card off on someone, and I'm like, okay, what is he gonna do here? And me and him both saw it. And then we seen oh. Apcolone into yeah. Sizzle. Let's just talk about that for a second. What is yes, going on? exactly. So the idea of this is simple. You start out, I don't care if I'm at one life point or 8,000. It's the same shit to me. I don't care. Why? Because of Smashers. So the game, the idea is this. My point is, you can have any board breakers he wants. 
If I set up Shizam and Smashers, there's no simple, there's no combination of cards to save him because people are not playing. Like if they go evenly, I have my totally awesome. I already have my splite negate, my spell trap negates. So when he dark rulers me, droplet, super play, I don't give, a, I don't care. I wait for him to special a card and go window. I even let Kakalo summon. I, I let them summon Kakalos. All that, all those cards are nonsense. Get rid of a card, force them to go battle phase, battle phase smashers. The combination of these two wins the duel against every single post side card that they're gonna side against you. And because the deck is so good versus hand traps, any hand trap they play, you, uh, unless they're opening three hand traps, they're just hand looping themselves. Thank you for letting me have three Omegas in the field. So that's the idea of the deck. And what the else that really put this deck apart was Gale Dogra. The first thing that you're sending is Apcolon. The second thing you're sending is Mahomi, Herald of the Arc Light. Because that will search you the illusion to search you the souls. Okay? I, I'm actually even debating playing double illusion, double souls, removing prosperity. This card in this deck is crazy. It's actually insane. Because it forces interruptions from the opponent and you're just going to link it anyways. And you need spellcasters in the grave for Selene. So having access for a gigantic splite to get this, to discard souls in any way. Sorry, well you can't gigantic splite because you only spell up to level one. But after you search this, the idea is you need, sometimes you waste your whole hand to clear in the gates. Gale Dagra effect, search illusion, and then Gale Dagra send Apcolon, discard uh, souls, get Chisholm. And then you have this in the graveyard for fall, for the next turn to kill them with Selene Axis Code. And it's just in general a great card to have. And yeah, and now next, the cards that you play, no hand traps, baby. Three Dark Ruler, three Talents, three Droplets. These are the best Go Second cards to play. Just play these nine. The deck is 42 cards. Full side deck. The siding pattern is perfect. You take out exactly the whole Gale Dogger engine. Souls and Illusion is nice to have, but you just remove it. You remove these five going second with one Swap Frog. That's six. With one... Depends on the... And then at this point, it depends on one Carrot. So that's seven. So then for those seven... Now we're gonna go straight to the side deck before the extra deck because of how it works out perfectly. For those seven, you put in exactly these seven, okay? If they're playing a, tra a deck that you're not scared of with, with, with like back row, but every deck right now is playing some form of D-Barrier, Anti-Spell, Trap Trick, Sanctum, Deck Devastation, whatever the fuck they wanna play. Every top deck right now, whether it be Splite or Terrell Element, has back row. Throw in Duster and, even and Reboot, trust me, you already have these as well. So Lightning Storm and Evenly act as a duo to out monsters as well. So when you have all of these in your deck, which are blowouts going second, and then you have the most easy, like, go second destruction cards in the game, it's just free dubs. It's free dubs. The duel is over on the spot. You, like, imagine combinations of hands of these. How do you lose? I don't know. I actually I don't know what that word even means. So that's the idea of it. And now you're going to think to yourself, okay, Trip, that's cool and all. You destroy dice going second. All right. What happens going first? All right, not only do you play on Dark Ruler going first, but because the siding pattern is so perfect, these are the nine cards you have in the main deck, right? Because the siding pattern is so perfect, let's just wait for the Yu-Gi-Oh drop right here. Shout out my boy, Yu-Gi. Scythe. So now what you do, if they play a hand trap deck, if they're anything but Tyrell Limit, you remove these seven, and you put these in, you, how, how could you lose? How many you, times does Scythe come up today? Honestly, I didn't. I never go first because I always win game one. But in scenarios when it comes up, it, it did come up. It's amazing. It's an incredible card. And when you use this, as like imagine what happens when you have Shizum and Sanctum, bro. No, like, bro. Don't you even need to get into the des description of how broken this is. Combined with actual of a board and Smashers, hot. You can't lose. And even and this allows you to play very like. Good, like let them hand trap you to save your griffin sanctum see you later my turn gg that's a side deck and main deck now nah, i know what you guys are thinking no wonder trip fucking won the game won the whole tournament and my boy Shivon, we had the exact same list but his was different he's had some cool synchro stuff as well so you just want to check the synchro aspect in addition check out the patreon and tripgaming.com where can they find that uh, you can find that at www.tripgaming.com my patreon in the link and for the next 24 hours only i send a feed pick to everyone who joins now the extra deck. So this is the package where you play specifically for the uh, for the Gale Dagra. Yeah, and Gale Dagra is not a brick. Opening, it's amazing. And a lot of thoughts might be, oh, Trip, why are you playing like Brave and, and Jet and Blue and stuff like that? That's fine. Summon, do the whole uh, right play, bounce some cards, special Enchantress, if you only have one level two, link into a link two with Enchantress, and the level two into uh, whatever you want, and then Elf and the special Jet, full combo. So normal summoning is fine in this deck, you just need an extender. All right, so these are the three that's like, just with a Gale Dagra, and Prosperity is really easy. Going second, 
if you're not gonna do it, just get rid of this. Always be ready for six. You don't need this extra deck. And now this is the, this is the the really good sauce here in the extra deck as well, right here. So because you're playing ten ways to enchantress, two three ways to souls, you have thirteen spellcasters and three. Well, I don't play Baylor anymore. Thirteen spellcasters. So it's very easy to trigger Selene before you start it or gigantic exploit. And you're gonna have lots of free cards. You have Enchantress, which is a water for area. You crash to search Enchantress with Swap Frog, all this sorts of stuff. Sometimes you have to crash to search your darks. This comes up a lot going second. A lot of times one Enchantress clears the full board. One right clears the full, like I can't, Sterlements is fucking ass. One right of Aramis here clears the entire board that they have. So this combination, and then after that, you link this into Elf with one random level two. So these are the seven that you you never ever prosperity the eight I'm about to showcase, okay? These are the seven you prosperity depending on going first or second with some combination of uh, Downard Zeus. Like these are the only ones that you would possibly prosperity. Never touch the other ones I'm about to show soon. So next, the XYZs. These are the only XYZs you need. Don't play uh, useless Sky Cavalry, whatever. The one I saw you play, don't play that shit. The 1900, don't worry. You're clearing boards, don't worry. This is what you play for the, the stuff, and this is the only stuff you prosperity. Never prosperity these, never prosperity triple elf. I made the one mistake in one of my losses, I played two, I, I prosperity the third elf. I fucking lost. If the third elf, if the third elf I wasn't, didn't prosperity, I won. Turn two, by the way, not turn two, not turn one, or turn ten, this is turn two. I need a third elf. I'm telling you, you need three elf. Never prosperity the shit away. If you play two elf, if you don't play synchro stuff, Synchro stuff is understandable because Synchro stuff have more like stuff they need for follow up. In this version, you fucking need three. No doubt about it. And that's the deck. Absolutely incredible deck. We stomped everybody. It wasn't even close. Most of them were two O's. Amazing. Shout out to both of my teammates that played Remarkable as well. Shout out to Siobhan for getting three draws. <laughs> and that's the deck, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Toronto Regional is tomorrow, which will be posted a few days after. So you guys are probably going to see a first place profile of this exact list. So it's fucking meaningless. But case tourney, let's fucking go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe and the like button. Get the playmatch Check out Patreon for my homies lists. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.